and the major project that they have is a uh, oil development project in some some nation, Bangladesh, I happen to use, and there are certain costs, etc. And when they put in the static price for oil over a period of time, uh, they can do the financing that's proposed, everything seems to be normal. As soon as you go to a probabilistic uh, measure of oil prices, where you have a low expected and high, all hell breaks loose. And uh, we do all various measures of why this project is going to fail because there's not, at times, not enough money being generated to pay the debt. And then they have to go in and readjust the financing terms, such that when you run at risk again, your risk of um, running out of money or bankruptcy is decreased considerably. So that is what the major aspect that they have to do is restructure this deal so that it works when you take into account that oil prices may not always be high. And so, um, that they get a very good feel of risk. Before, they don't have that feel at all. They have no idea what risk is, but then they see risk and we have re various measures of risk. Basically, it's running out of money to pay all your costs. So uh, that's how I use it at Columbia. I find that they, um, uh, we do simpler examples before this, but I find that they uh, tune on to it very fast. I don't seem to have any problem with their understanding uh, probabilistic uh, functions once we do it. Uh, they certainly don't have any problems uh, manipulating at risk, or very few. Uh, that, does not, that is not a burden for me. We do it slowly the first time, and then I have a few practice exercises that they use. Uh, they seem to tune in very uh, rapidly. And I have found uh, in talking to them that if they do go into financing or investment banking, um, the World Bank, etc., they seem to take at risk with them. That is the feedback that I'm getting from the students. They are actually using it in the real world.